We're going to talk about storage device types, and I'm just going to take on some of these port types and so on. The first one is the eSATA port, and you see that we have two kinds here. The eSATA port is an external serial port. This stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, um, and the E stands for external in this case. P stands for power, by the way, here. So we're going to get to that in a moment. But the eSATA port is an external version of the SATA port that's been quite common for drives and, and so forth inside the computer for some time. So it's just a way to bring that out externally. Uh, the thing about eSATA, though, is that it does not supply power to the device. So if you plug a... Um, uh, a SATA device into one of these eSATA ports, you're also going to have to have a power cord running to the wall or batteries or something to power that device as well. Um, by the way, you'll notice that the eSATA port looks an awful lot like a USB port. In fact, very, very much like a USB Type-A port. Uh, however, USB will not work in it. And the, the main reason it will not work is that USB uh, supplies power to the device that it's running, and eSATA does not supply power. Now, there is a, a later version called the eSATA P that does supply power, and these, you can actually plug a USB device into these uh, eSATA P ports, and it will run and work just fine. You can charge your phone and communicate and so on through the eSATA P ports. So that's it for eSATA. We're going to take up USB in the next video.